Hello there everyone, Grim Chorizo here and welcome to Wrestling Roundup, the show where I give you this week's wrestling news, rumors, and recaps, so let's go ahead and take it back to Monday Night Raw. So the show started off with an interesting segment, I guess you could say. The Money in the Bank ladder match participants were all standing on ladders and cutting promos to each other, so it was actually kind of awkward because they're, you know, standing on ladders the whole time, but there were some pretty uh, funny moments in it. Uh, the participants eventually started fighting each other, which led to the return of Teddy Long, former SmackDown general manager. He came out and he was about to make, you know, one of his famous tag team matches, but Stephanie McMahon basically crushed his dreams and sent him home. AJ Styles and John Cena had a nice war of words. Cena in the ring and AJ and the club on the stage. Uh, in this war of words, we had uh, John Cena say the Pullet Club, which sounded just like Bullet Club. We had AJ Styles say the word bury and say that John Cena buries uh, other talent. So it was pretty meta and uh, a really good promo. Also this week was NXT TakeOver The End, and here are the results. Andrade Cien Almas defeated Ty Dillinger in his debut. The Revival, Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder defeated American Alpha to become the new NXT Tag Team Champions, so they are the first ever two-time champs in NXT. After that tag match, while American Alpha was still in the ring, two large men came in and attacked them. Uh, apparently they go by the Authors of Pain. They walked to the back and were greeted by WWE Hall of Famer, former manager Paul Ellering. Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Austin Aries. Asuka retained the NXT Women's Championship against Nia Jax. And in the main event, Samoa Joe retained the NXT Championship against Finn Balor in the Steel Cage match. So overall, a really good show. NXT TakeOver is always, you know, bring it. They're never disappointing. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. Some new matches have been added to Money in the Bank, such as John Cena vs. AJ Styles. A fatal four-way tag team match for the WWE Tag Team Championship. It's the New Day defending against The Club, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, The Vaude Villains, and Enzo and Cass. Russo will be defending the United States Championship against Titus O'Neil, and that doesn't interest me at all. Rusev could have so many better opponents, but they're going with Titus. And also, it appears that the seven-man Money in the Bank ladder match has officially been changed to six men, and I don't believe that there are any plans to add a seventh member. Some big news this past week, it was revealed that Brock Lesnar will be returning to UFC to fight at UFC 200. He'll be taking on Mark Hunt. I literally know nothing about UFC. Uh, but I do know that Brock Lesnar will be returning to fight for that show and then also competing at SummerSlam, so he's still under WWE contract, uh, but is going to be fighting for UFC. This is a huge deal because WWE and UFC uh, pretty much kept separate for, you know, ever, and uh, not really mentioning each other, don't really wanting to be paired up, and now it seems they have this uh, working agreement, at least for this deal with Brock Lesnar, and it's a, it's a really big deal. Rumor has it that with the WWE draft coming up next month, uh, that a lot of NXT talent could be raided and taken for it, and it wouldn't be surprising. People like Finn Balor, Bailey, Nakamura, Austin Aries, Samoa Joe, American Alpha, uh, Asuka, these are all people that could easily be on the main roster, and I would not be surprised if they are taken up and more people uh, are signed and brought in to fill up the NXT roster. So we'll just have to see what the next month or two bring for the NXT talent. So thanks for watching this week's episode of Wrestling Roundup. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll come back next week. See you later. Step